what's good, Commanders fans? Day six of Commanders training camp. Uh, Jaden Daniels had a really, really, really good day from what all accounts have said. He had his best day so far. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then uh, also we're going to talk about uh, Frankie Louvu balling too. And a lot of guys had a couple, had some good days today. It was a very uh, active practice. Ben Stanley said it was the most fun practice, I think, or, or most active. Um, if you guys were there, definitely comment below. Let me know how the energy was, how the vibes were. For sure, Josh Harris, of course, was there. Um, I saw him taking some pictures with some fans and uh, was in the stands behind the practice as well so uh definitely definitely a very very eventful practice put up a clip of uh Emmanuel Forbes and uh Jeremy Chen uh doing their uh looks like they have some type of handshake which is pretty cool to get some chemistry there but let's get to the play-by-play -play. I'm not gonna say too many too many plays I'll probably stick to just saying 10 10 plays and then talk about some of the lineups like the offensive line and whatnot but um it's it's it's, it's good to hear that Jaden is is putting together some good days for sure uh, but we'll start with Jaden Daniels back out with the second team. This is from JP Finlay. Connects on a pretty deep ball to Olamide Zacchaeus. Olamide Zacchaeus, you know, I know we talk enough about Jaden, but looking at the receiving room, I really do think Olamide Zacchaeus is going to make the roster. I, I, I said that yesterday. I think I say that every day. I think he's going to make the roster. I think it's going to be six guys. Crowder's going to make it because of punt returning. Uh, I heard Deami Brown's been running running with the ones for the most part, so. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, Luke McCaffrey's going to make it. But I do think Olamide Zacchaeus is going to make it. He's been, he's been making play after play. I heard Bryson Tremaine made some really good plays. We're going to talk about that today, too. But um, Bryson Tremaine is a guy that I like, too. I like Mitchell Tinsley. I do. I like I like our receiving core in general. Of course, we could probably add one more guy. But um, I think we have a really – I think we have a, a solid receiving core for sure. All right, let's get to the next play. Uh, Brandon Coleman, once again, running with first team at left tackle. I heard he had a rough day today. Some people had a, said he had a good day. Some people said he did not. Linnell Willingham said that he struggled today. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit. But Ben Standing uh, says, first off is a line, reps in 11 is Brandon Coleman. Nick Al Brandon Coleman at left tackle, Nick Allegretti at left guard. Tyler Biotis at center, Sam Cosme at right guard, and Andrew Wiley at right tackle. I do think Andrew Wiley is going to be the starter at right tackle. I do, of course, Sam Cosme is going to be the starter at right guard. Tyler Biotis, of course, the starting starter at center. Nick Allegretti, I think they brought him in to start at left guard. It's really between him and Michael Dieter. And then Brandon Coleman is between him and Cornelius Lucas. I know Trent Scott got his, has been getting a couple reps here and there with the first team. Not a lot, but he's been involved with the competition. But I do think if I had to put money down, I think this, this probably will be the day one starting unit or the day one starting group of the offensive line. If I had to put my money down... I think the only real competition right now is between Brandon Coleman and Cornelius Lucas. So I, I think uh, I think uh, Brandon Coleman is going to be the starter. I I, I think I, I'm 55 percent. I'm 55 percent. I would bet that Brandon Coleman will be the starting left tackle. All right, um, Frankie Louvu with a nice peanut punch to force a fumble on Zach Ertz. He's just been all over the place from what I've seen in, in videos. Uh, I think he's just been he's going to be a great linebacker addition. Like we, the previous regime did not attack the linebacker position at all. So it's just really good to see them attack. Adam Peters attack the linebacker position with Bobby Wagner and Frankie Louvu. Uh, Nigel Rala said that uh, Frankie Louvu is fast as shiggity. So uh, he's been rushing the passer. He's been covering guys. He's just been all over the place. He's been a vocal leader as well. So he's going to be a huge addition to this team, man. And he was the number one rated line, free agent linebacker. Uh, so we definitely upgraded. I mean, coming from where we came from with Cody Barton, John Bostic, um, guys like that to go to Frankie Louvu is certainly, certainly an, a, a huge, huge upgrade. And uh, what's the other line? But David Mayo, guys like that, that we had in the past. Um, JP Philly says, sweet cut, jump cut from Austin Eckler. Dude seems to be on a mission this offseason. I, I can't wait to see Austin Eckler and B-Raw play together this year. I'm, that's that's one duo. Of course, the duo of Frankie Louvu and Bobby Wagner on defense, but the duo of B-Rob and Austin Eckler, like, I really want to see what Cliff Kingsbury does with, with those two guys and what Anthony Lynn uh, can do to get the best out of those guys. So talented. Such a talented running back group there. Uh, ben St. Juice participated in individual drills, but then went inside. He's not out here for team drills, so we'll monitor that. Gene Daniels did fumble on a quarterback running back exchange. Third time ball has hit the ground for the offense. That was the beginning of practice, and then he cleaned it up and played a lot better. Um, ben Stanton says the defense is coming for the ball today. Brian Robinson broke into the open only for Mike Stan Samry still to Don BB him and force a fumble. 
Defense forced a Zach Ertz fumble right after Louisville on the recovery. So Mike Sanders still, man, he's very physical. I mean, Nick Saban said pound for pound the best corner, or pound for pound the best player in his draft. I mean, Chris Sims said something similar like that to that too. Uh, another another draft expert said that he could be the best slot corner in the league for years to come. So and he's what, 5'10", 5'10", 180, something like that, training with Daryl Green. Like the definition of hard over height. So I love seeing him make plays like that for sure. Um, Linnell Willingham says J.D. Daniels with an outstanding pass on the run of Jahan Dotson for a nice gain. J.D. 5 has been sharp to start. So, you know, I talked about Jahan Dotson with a couple of drops last year, had a couple of drops the other day or had a big drop the other day. Love to see that. He's so talented, man. I just want to see him play like he did his rookie year. He's so talented. Uh, K K.J. Henry with a nice rep versus Brandon Coleman would have sacked Daniels. So good to hear from uh, K.J. Henry. Haven't heard much from him. I thought he had a good good um see had a had some flashes last year i hate that they took away the sack for him against the patriots they called that rough in the past so that was ridiculous i do think there's something there with kj henry uh frankie Lewis with a sick inside move to beat andrew wiley would have been a quick pressure jd5 got it out to terry in the flat so frankie Lewis as a pass rusher see what he's done with the panthers let's see what he can let's see if he continues that i think he will of course but um he, he definitely is going to bring some some pass rushing uh, power, some pass rushing talent to the team for sure. Um, Jamie Davis got, just got mauled by Trent Scott. Transition is still a work in progress. So this is why people are on the fence with Jamie Davis. He's trying to learn a new position, you know, and it's, it's tough to do that, to transition from linebacker to, to edge rusher for some guys. It's not as easy as it sounds. So, you know, this is really his last leg and his last try here. And they barely, Dan Quinn barely has him out there playing linebacker. So, it, it's going to be an adjustment, man. It's a learning curve for him to make that move from linebacker to edge rusher. So this is to be expected. Um, not every rep is going to be pretty, but, you know, he's trying. You know, he's working hard. And I'm rooting for Jamin Davis. I do think they should keep him on the roster, but, you know, it's not my decision. So we'll see what Dan Quinn decides to do. All right. Um, takeaways from day one through six of the commander's camp. Uh, Nikki Zavala says Frankie Lulu is fast as shiggity. Jaden Daniels drops a dime down on me to Zacchaeus. Down the right sideline, drew a loud roar from the crowd. So Jaden Daniels making plays down the field. Zacchaeus making plays again. Davian Davis with a possible catch of the day, other day, getting a leaping grab from Mar Marcus Mariota. So Marcus, Marcus Mariota sounds like he had a better day today too. Um, Davion Davis making plays. I don't think Davion Davis will make the roster, but it's good to see and good to hear that he's making plays out there. I want to see what he does in the preseason. Um, back to back, nice grabs from Dax Mill from Sam Hartman. Dax Mill making plays. I don't think he'll make the roster, but, you know, I want to see what he does in the preseason, too. Um, and then a nice deep pass from Jaden Daniels to Jahan Dotson. Ja Jahan Dotson could not bring it in, unfortunately. So I did not – I was not able to see that play. You guys let me know what happened. If you saw the play, if you were there, did he just outright drop the pass? Like, what happened? Was it a tough uh, catch to bring in? Um, Jamie Davis was one of his best rushers of camp, forcing Sam Hartman to flush out of the pocket. So, once again, keep an eye on that. Sam Hartman is – the third string quarterback. So a lot of people have been saying that Jamin Davis has been running with threes and he's rushing against the third string quarterback. So kind of tells you with, um, you know, he, he did play with the ones yesterday. So we'll see how it goes for Jamin. Um, Jamin Dan Jaden Daniels has been on one today per Linnell Willingham. Another beautiful deep deep pass to Terry McLaurin for a big gain. It's a thing of beauty watching him throw a deep best practice of camp for Jaden Daniels so far for JD5. So, you know, we saw what he did last year, dropping in the bucket, the touch, he always has that basketball out with him so he can work on his touch, his throwing motion. Uh, the mechanics are beautiful from Jaden Daniels. The accuracy is beautiful for Jaden for Jane Daniels. So he was just put on a show today, apparently. And Terry McLaurin was hyped after that, too. I, I guess Terry's like, man, we, we finally may have it. We finally got a guy. We finally got a guy. So I guess he's feeling that way. He's getting hyped and turned up. Uh, Jaden Daniels ripped a, just ripped one to De'Ami Brown working versus Mikey S. in coverage. So De'Ami Brown sighting there. Uh, Keandre Jones continues to flash a linebacker per Linnell Willingham. Uh, and then Linnell goes on to say that Brandon Coleman had a rough day giving up inside pressure. So this is this is the learning curve for him. He's a rookie. So get the mistakes out now. Um, get get that stuff out the way. You know, this is where he this is the time to improve and this is the time to make mistakes. So I'm not going to get all worked up that he had a rough day giving up inside pressure. It's going to happen in games, too. He's going to have bad games, or good games as a rookie is to is to be expected for sure. Um, Bryson Tremaine, the latest diving catch downfield from Marcus Mariota. Bryson Tremaine, he's he, he, he's a guy to keep an eye on, too. I don't think he's going to make the roster, but Bryson Tremaine, is, he's a good player, man. I think he's a talented player. I think he, I think he's a guy that can play in his league for sure. Uh, Mayo Force uh, made a uh, breakup pass on a slant to Terry McLaurin. Um, 
Also, Trent Scott stonewalled Frankie Louvu on a spin attempt when he was at edge today. We've seen Pittman at linebacker, a lot of mixing and matching going on overall. Jaden Daniels threw a touchdown pass to Zach Ertz during red zone work. Uh, Brandon Coleman was playing at right tackle with two good back-to-back -back reps versus Dante Fowler and Frankie Louvu. Up and, in, up and down day for the rookie. So that's two they expected once again. He's going to have some good games. He's, he's going to have some rough games. It's just the learning curve and the growing pains of a rookie. So um, basically baptize, baptism by fire. For sure. Um, Linnell Williams said, Mikey Samuel still has been really impressive and at, as advertised all camp, and he could be one of the best slot corners in the league. Pump, pump returns today was Jahan Dotson, uh, MAO4, Sam, Mikey Samuel still, Dax Mill, Jameson Crowder, Austin Eckler, Casimir Allen, and Demir Bird. So, um, but we'll wrap it up. I mean, like I said, Ben Standing said practice is over, easily the most fun of camp. That happens when players are made, particularly by the offense. Jaden was sharp. Jahan caught a bunch of targets. Tremaine Pop, Mikey Samuel still shining coverage, hustle plays, thought Brandon Coleman looked good. So Jaden Daniels had a great day. J great day. Jahan Dodson had a really good day. Bryson Tremaine had a good day today, too. Uh, and then Johnny Newton on 11 versus 11 reps. He showed his first step. Uh, Serge the Shooter said, got in those 11 versus 11 reps. And that first step was all he needed. Bro was back there in one and a half seconds. So that is awesome to hear, too, from, from Johnny Newton. He's starting to get up to speed and um you know get back there because man he, he's going to be our x factor on defense like seriously he's going to be our defensive line expert i'm not going to call him like a secret weapon because everybody knows about him but he he's going to be that x factor for sure he really is. He, he's going to be that chess piece on the defensive line for sure all right you guys you guys let me know what you guys think about today sounds like it was a good day from uh Jaden daniels and Jahan dotson for sure frankie luvu of course has been balling so uh very exciting to see that and hear about that as well. Oh, Cleveland Farrell almost had a, a would-be sack on Terry on um, Marcus Mariota as well. All right, you guys. You guys let me know what you guys think. Hell the Commanders. Peace.